Hello, everybody. So I just went and put five dollars and five cents worth of gas in my gas tank. When I was done rolling the gas in, I said, oh my gosh, dear God, I need five cents. And I opened the passenger side door, and there it was, right on the floor, five cents. Don't ever tell me there's no God. That reminds me of something. I am the cheapest person that lives with and mooches off of my sister. Take my 13-year-old niece, for instance. Every year, it's, Mama, I need more clothes. And every couple of days, it's, Mama, my stomach hurts. Can we have some food? But not me. When I need some clothes, I just wait till they go out to the curb till I sneak out at night and tear the bag open. When I'm hungry, I wait till everybody goes to sleep. And I go out and see what's left on the table of the I'm very helpful around the house, too. I'm always there for my sister whenever she needs me. She's always saying, I wish someone would take this garbage out, or I wish someone would do those dishes. And I'm right there for her. I say, sister, you ought to make them kids do it. And I'm always willing to smack them for her if she wants me to. And the best part is, yep, keep on my car. Cost our husband very little over the years. There's one thing that does kind of bother me, though, about the car and her husband. Every couple of weeks, somebody's got to come waking me up in the afternoon. Mirza, we need you to move your car. It's time to mow the lawn now. It doesn't matter where I park it in the yard. Somebody's going to come give me some kind of whack about it. All in all, though, I'd say I'm not just cheap, I'm almost free. I think my family's very lucky to have me.